Paul McKinley. I'm running for the second congressional district, and I would like to talk about a hot deal penalty. And I would like to talk about how that the focus is on hot deal Pendleton, but there's no focus on what causes these murders, these shootings. And what causes the violence in this community is the corruption and how that this, these bills, these so-called laws that they're attempting to throw out, they've already exist now. These laws exist already. There are no, they, we don't need any new laws. They got them on the books right now. If they would have forced the laws they got, people would go to jail for this right now. What they're claiming that people are not, that, that these new laws will change. I'm more concerned with the machine that denies people jobs, contracts, and opportunities. What pushes people into the streets that, that, that creates this behavior. Why we don't never deal with the machine and what it does. It can focus in on the drugs after they get here, but it can never focus in that most of the violence in our community is drug driven. And this drug is driven through narco-terrorism. Narco-terrorism bring guns and drugs in the community. You never hear them say about narco-terrorism. They can talk about gangs, guns, and drugs, but it is narco-terrorism that's bring, wherever you have drugs, you have narco-terrorism, which bring these guns and drugs over. You can't have this amount of drugs without these amount of guns. And you're not bringing, they're never talking about this. So when you see these people, these people are uh, given delusions of what the real problem is. They're there to cast off the, the real problem. And the real problem is poverty. And the reason why you have the poverty is because of corruption, of them stealing the jobs, contracts, and opportunities. And if they would investigate who's stealing the jobs, contracts, and opportunities, which drove the people into the streets, which drove the people to start selling drugs, which drove the people to start getting in gun battles in, in, in schools and parks and in front of playgrounds. If they would show what made these people do this and what drove this, then we would be able to resolve our issue. Hi, I'm Paul McKinley. I'm running for the second congressional district, and I know what the problem is. The problem is the machine, not the people. The machine creates the problem, and then it blames the people for being the problem. Thank you very much.